What is up guys? Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. So uh, I'm gonna check out some things out here, you know. There's this lady. Uh, I don't know her name. Aha! Uh -huh. Welcome Mario! I am her lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining star will light that which I see, I wish to see. Aha! Uh -huh. So, shall I see something for you? Uh, no, I'm good. That, that's interesting though. I could, I could just like, kinda pay to learn information. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you want to find, just ask. You got, you got it. Oh, that's cool. I forgot. I bought some, I bought a, a an effects badge from this guy. So it makes my hammer do that. <laughs> That's nice. I also wanted to check out this lady over here. Since uh, last time I kind of just glossed over it. I didn't even know what it was. Yippee. Whoops. Damn it. Oh, Mario's close to uh, dying over there. Woohoo. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, just to see what it is. Fortune favors who I compel it to. And that's anyone who sits for a spell or two. Oh, that's cute. Are you ready for a taste of power? Yeah, why not? That's good. That's great. Choose your path uh, to fate. Which path do you choose? I'm going to go with special path. We have we have quite a bit of money anyway. Okay, that's fine by me. So, ready, ready for me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. So what does this do? My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know what that does for me. Woohoo! Yeah! Wow! All right, cool. Now, does that last forever, or is that like something I gotta come back to anyway? I mean, I, I guess I'll find out, right? All right, let's go see this uh, this Don Pianta fellow that we we've been hearing so much about. You know? All right, let's go. Oh, come on, just let me through. End of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah! My rage is so hot right now. I could cook you with it. All right. Well, I mean, whatever. We ordered them, right? So all I have to do is buy it. <laughs> contact lens. I'm going to need 10 coins for that contact. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Uh, thanks for making it so cheap. <laughs> you know? They're worth, they're worth the same as a fire flower. So it's cool. All right. Let's get out of here. Hey you, I got I got this thing for you. Also, it, aren't contact lenses like specific to a person, or are they all the same uh, like focus strength? I, I don't know. I don't know contact lenses. <laughs> you know? Oh, sweet relief! Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, isn't there like different prescriptions for for like contact lenses? Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stump stomped on. Yeah, I know. Sorry, but I, mean, I didn't even know it was there. Like, I just kind of, like, walked here and, you know, it snapped. All right. Ooh, this is a nice, lovely little home. What's back there? Interesting. Ugh, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on, on my novel. I wish I could have fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Sorry. Sometimes, you know, you, you sacrifice uh, the things you love for the people you love, you know? Oh. Hey there, little Koopa man. <laughs> Koops is struggling to get up here. Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, guess what? 
I won my first prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery today, but I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh well, I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. Really? I guess. I mean, yeah. If you're rich, why go outside, right? <laughs> I don't know. That's what he was saying. Oh, hey. I saw this. Tried sneaking on me, you know? Ah, uh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. Is it? I mean, it looks like it. It's got all flowers and everything. This is the thing he was talking about. Uh, dum da da dum da do. Every day is a lucky day with Happy Lucky Lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Please do. Lucky, ha oh, Happy Lucky Lottery is so special. If you pick numbers, they might win each day. Just buy your lottery ticket here one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Uh, then check back later on this board to see if your number has come. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your clock at home. <laughs> Do you need me to describe how the water... No, I'm good, thanks. I love this guy. He's so huge. <laughs> Big bomb, you know. Now let's get to the ticket buying. You got a great deal for first time. It only costs 10 coin. All right, cool. Want to buy a lottery? Yes, of course. I'm in. Oh, happy. Thank you. Here's your lottery ticket. Nice. The number is 1557. Nice. Uh, you can use the same jackpot. Uh, you can save un until the you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board, right? Okay, cool. Uh, all numbers match. Okay. Second prize there. Okay, cool. Today's winning number is... Oh. We didn't get anything. <laughs> Sorry. It's an unlucky day. Your ticket isn't a winner today. But every day brings a new chance. So try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. Oh, nice. Thank you. Come again tomorrow. You got it. Don Pianta? Are you kidding me? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to see him, ask the robot boss on the east side about him. Yeah, I bet Ishna will know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. I love that little toad in the back. He's just kind of crying. Hello. Going to theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been as fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. Are you talking about me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Madame Flurry! Eek! I'm such a huge fan! I can't believe I saw you here! Nice. Oh, that doesn't affect them. Boo. Hey, you. I almost fell down that great man that was close. I know where that thing leads all... Uh, uh, I know where that thing leads... To, uh, uh, oh, to, oh, okay, got it. <laughs> okay. I know where that thing leads to, too. <laughs> all too well. And I don't want to go there. Alright. Hello, little Pianta guy. But the boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, and I'll toss you like that. Yeah. You're not going to tell me what to do. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, hey there. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to the white... Oh, that's right. That's why you need the information from Ishnail. You got to buy, like, a cert like items in a certain way. The only way to know... Can I check this out? <laughs> the only way to know what, what is up there is... Um... Whoa. Damn. I really messed that up. Alright, give me one second, guys. Yeah, the only way to know the, the certain order is to, to pay for it. Or you could look it up, but I'm not going to do that. I want to play, like, uh, authentically, you know? Let's see here. There's no way to jump over there. There we go. This is just the city, right? 
This is the other side of the... Yeah, cool. Nice. Hey there. There's a lot of guys here. That's cool. Is there anything back here? I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm not missing anything. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, did you come here to, to do research too? Excuse me, you're an adventurer. Really? Wow. That's the first time I ever heard anyone describe your occupation as adventurer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, Mario is an adventurer though. Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sports, sports fan extraordinaire. No about stylish moves. Just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull off a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go wild. And some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves. But I'll share you. I'll share one with you. Try pressing A right after Flurry body slam hits the ground. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. Well, that's why you gotta practice, yo. Can you tell me about Gubella? Is that like... Is that because, you know? Because I don't know hers. Yeah. If you do it right, you go wild. Each attack has different timing. After you jumped on an enemy, try pressing eight. Okay. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. Come on. Give me something good. Yeah. I know. Same thing. Just as last time. When you press A, jump on the enemy second time, then press A at the height of your rebound. Sound hard? No. I already I already know how to do that. Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant doorway down there, huh? Aren't you? Uh, <laughs> what do you think is behind that thing, huh? I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. It's another item shop. Slow mushroom. Cool stuff. Jam and jelly. 50 FP. No, I don't need that. See ya. <laughs> she just has gold bars back there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, these guys seem a little s sneaky. Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah, I mean, of course. I know stuff too, seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls. Because no one tells me. What about you? There you are. Oh my god, he's got a deep voice. This is a special refuge for all. Where we cultivate information. Herb T's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. T okay. Howdy! My name's Wonky and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may be, may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. If you pay me five coin, I suppose I could tell you about the charmer. Uh, no thank you. I'm good. If you need to know stuff about stuff, just ask me. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I definitely will ask him. Oh, that door's locked. All right. I got to go see a dude about a dude. So let me just get over there real quick. Hello, Ishnail. I'm back. That's his name, right? Ishnail? Because he's a snail. Why? You got to be kidding me. Am I hearing you right? I could have sworn you said... You'll really want me to tell you how to meet the Ampianta, the scum of the earth. Yep. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk. But it'll cost you 64 coin. And no budget on the price. Not a single coin. Alright, cool. You'll pay? Uh, really? Yeah, you heard me. Alright. <laughs> yes. I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coin on the nose. Okay, then. Clean those ears out and listen here. At the store next to the Pianta Parlor in the west part of town, buy a dried mushroom, then a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried mushroom dizzy dial. You got that? Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is and you answer yellow. 
You see, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's also oh comfy office. You got all that? All right. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna do. <laughs> I already forgot what he uh, said. Oh, cool. I didn't know there was an art gallery. I mean, I knew there was an art gallery. I just uh, I didn't know that that's where it was. It just kind of it showed me. You can see it right here. Oh, you can't even open them that. All right. That's fine. Oh, here. Uh, just to listen to it, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be switching between the the old music and the new music, just to uh, you know show off both in case anyone cares. Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! All right. If I remember correctly, he said dried mushrooms and then dizzy dial. Right? That's not that's not too bad. That's going to be two coin. You got it. Thank you. And then uh, the dizzy dial. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All righty, Mister. What color is your mustache? It's yellow. <laughs> Whoops. That's wrong. What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, um, Miss. Okay, Mister. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh huh. Well, you check. Well, you check out. You know the password. So, uh, you must, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> you can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. <laughs> oh. Let me in. All right, here. Uh, listen, Goombella, you're too nice to, uh, be out here, you know? Like, she, she's too smart to be hanging out with these guys. <laughs> What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. So if you got beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. Yeah! Excuse me? You wanna... You wanna give me a ticket for the blimp? See, now, to me, that's funny. You, a stand-up comedian. No? You oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. <laughs> you want I should run this this bum out the rail, boss? Look at, look at him. What a rube. You must like paint, funny guy. You look, you just, you're just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this guy. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk. No, that ain't a crime. So we talk, you boys can wait till we're done before you rough them up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. We're here for the crystal start. <laughs> What's that? You want to help some broad get herself kidnapped? What? Oh, what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you are collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about that ancient treasure? Vinny is such a dope. Hey, boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue and don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. <clears throat> Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl for a gaga for. Who's gone? But I tell you, I can't help but... But like a guy who, who wants to rescue some girl he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a favor, and I'll get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? I'm not even I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy, it's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are if you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly. And with that, 
uh, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know any. We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goop off for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because of you, Lugs, you can't find it. Hey, that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dope ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? Uh, no, boss, whatever you say goes. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. <laughs> So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, and then come to see me. <laughs> Francesca and Frankie look like this. You got it. All good. We'll get it done right away. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Wow. Your luck's gonna turn terrible. <laughs> I always find it funny that you can just smack everyone. They won't say anything about it. I mean, there's some characters that might say something about it, but you know. Most of them won't say anything about it. Alright, where the hell are this, uh, Donnie? I'm so not Donnie, yeah. Uh, Frankie and, uh, Francesca. I believe they're at the pier, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm just gonna check real quick anyway. Here we go. All right, here we go. Where'd they go? Yeah, they are here. Cool. Hey guys. Hey, back off, you creep. You want some, or you just like s sidling up to people? <laughs> what? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. You don't know what he'll do if you... Yeah, you don't know what he'll do to you if we do that. <laughs> Francesca, baby doll. If we can just talk calm with... Calm like with a boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? <laughs> of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? No way. Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Smack. Smack. <laughs> Sorry. I know I, I hate to ruin the, you know, the beautiful moment like that. Oh. oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Piazza fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Yeah. I mean... Well, we're gonna tell him anyway, you know, I, <laughs> I hate like sn snaking on them like that, but you know It's it's whatever I don't I mean they're not gonna die or anything You know, it's not like cuz I already know what's gonna happen and thank God We don't have to buy this stuff like every single time that we want to see the dawn Although that would be a great way of like paying tribute to him, you know, like you buy those things he gets his cut of the money I don't know. It's kind of weird. A lucky scumbag. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So, give what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Uh, yeah. Why not? Oh. That a true fact? Rogue Port Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Francesca. <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, truly I am. 
Frankie. So back you come, head hung low, and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. Well, Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. <laughs> Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy, no, no, no! I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me! No, boss, it's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy! Boss. Ah! Enough! Quiet, both of you! Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you too. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss, I don't ever want to see your mics again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where you go, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Dad, no wait, <laughs> I mean, Boss! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already, just go. Go! <laughs> He's crying now, dude. Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out is a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. And thank you. I don't like saying Daddy so much. This sounds kind of, it feels kind of wrong, <laughs> you know? You still here? I still need my tickets, yeah. Hmm, well... You found my daughter, and you got her back. I, and you got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp tickets, like I said. Thank you. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now go on. Get your ugly mug out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to compartmentalize. <laughs> you got it. See ya. Now let's, uh... My, my, we've done it. Mario, next stop, Glitzville. You got it. That's exactly where we're going. All right, here we go. Hey, you there, little, uh, fish. <laughs> this flight goes to Glitzville. You will need a ticket to travel with us. Here you go. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes, I am. Then please, watch your step as you step aboard. Wait, is there anything over here? No. Alright. You know they love to sneak, uh, sneak one of those uh, star pieces everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. A nice little blimp ride. It's cool. Here we go. <laughs> also, it's the... Uh, Oh, this is no special music. Never mind. Oh, no. Damn. If I ever, you know, ride this thing again and I get to hear the music, I'll make sure to uh, take off the uh, Nostalgic Tunes badge so that we can listen to it the way uh, it's supposed to be listened to. Of Glitz and Glory. Nice. <laughs> of Guts and Glory. It's, you know, that's the joke. That's cool. The blimp is breaking though, I see a little thing, a little piece just kind of falling off. Oh, this is sort of new. A different angle. And you can see uh, Glitzville approaching. It looks really cool. You know? Alright, here we go. Oh, I love hearing that music. <laughs> I think this is, well, I don't know. This is one of my favorite places. I don't think it's my favorite one. 
Although it is pretty cool. Here we are. I like the music too. It's nice. My, 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 Glitzville. I've heard of that. I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny balls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch peaked. Oh, really? She gets a little excited, huh? All right, cool. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right, here. Let's switch to Goombella real quick. Nice. I mean, it's like I never left, you know? Giant button here. Can we do... Yeah, we can. Okay. I don't know if we needed something else for that. <laughs> cool. Wahoo! Yeah! Wah! All right, let's see. You got a Power Plus P badge. Nice. Oh. Man, we're going everywhere, huh? I don't think that's where this was supposed to go. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, an item shop, of course. And a uh, uh, phone. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay. You rode the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing, but air trouble makes me yak. How'd you get here then? Glitchville hangs on, hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. <laughs> Cause you hang out in the clouds. If I hit you, does your cloud react? Oh, it does. <laughs> That's cool. So is like the cloud. Oh, sorry. Let, let's hear the, the the good version. <laughs> Haven't seen your face around here, and I know I'd remember a stash like that. Listen, guy. If you want to see a match, head on inside. That's the glitz pit. Oh wow, this is really different. You know the music. I right here. Got an in coupon. I'm um, full of stuff. Let's get rid of the dried mushroom. Doesn't matter who. Wow, that, this one's like the most different of the original series. As you can hear already, you know. We're the world wandering, the traveling sisters three, usually. But here in Glitzville, we're the rough and tumble, battling and traveling sister three. Okay. You got it. You see that hot dog stand over there? Best hot dog menu of all time. No joke. Hey, but you look more into fighting than hot dogs. Are you a pro? I'll root for you. Cool. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out of a build... Uh, out to build a vacation home here. <laughs> really? So this split film, not bad. Not a bad place if a little, uh, it's if a little on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. Wow. Daddy, I'm hungry, and I want to eat a hot dog, and I want to eat it right now. No hot dogs for you. A very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed Glitzville's many aromas. Here, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only 10 coin a piece. May I tempt you? No, thank you. I'm good. Come again. Let me just, uh... <laughs> there you go, guys. If you want to... Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. I am definitely going to use that. Yahoo! Alright, cool. I think this is a good place to stop, you know. Uh, I'm excited. You know, Glitzville is, looks cool. Goodbye. And there it is, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you guys next time. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, Glitzville is going to be a very fun and very exciting adventure. I hope you guys enjoy it. Goodbye. <laughs>